hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how you can install mysql workbench in a windows pc as you know mysql workbench is a visual database design tool uh, which is very convenient and very useful for database administrators and uh, viewing and administrating uh, a mysql server okay so let's go for installing uh, that in uh, windows pc okay so i have just searched mysql workbench uh, in uh, uh, google so you'll get the fast link itself uh, regarding uh, the mysql official website so the first link itself uh, will take you to the official my uh, mysql workbench site so this is the uh, web uh, page of mysql workbench so the latest version is 6.3 all the latest documentation is uh, on that uh, in this page you can have a look and uh, and study everything now we can we are going to download and install uh, mysql workbench in the windows pc so let's go for downloading just click on download now so it will take you to the download page so this is the download mysql workbench uh, web page so let's go down we can see here the installer uh, can be downloaded in this page it's of uh, 28 mb only so this is uh, for a uh, 32 and 64 bit installer you can directly install it so let's go for downloading and uh, let's go further so uh, it will take you to this page just click on no thanks and just start my download okay so it will start downloading the 28 mb file so just wait for that so it's been downloaded just wait for the download to be finished my sql workbench installer has been downloaded now let's go for installing this one just double click on that and uh, it will start uh, the installer okay yes this is the first welcome uh, screen of the installer just click on next and uh, we are going to uh, install this in the default uh, uh, default location just click on next again and uh, we are going to get the custom no we are going to get uh, the complete uh, mysql uh, workbench itself okay just click on next again and just click on install and wait for your uh, installation to be completed so it's to last the your user account control access just click on yes and wait for uh, the installation to be completed yes uh, installation has been completed and uh, this is the uh, final uh, screen of installation and uh, you have, we have check mark the launch mysql workbench now and uh, just click finish and let's see how mysql workbench is looking yes my mysql workbench has been loaded so this is your dashboard your screen where you can log in in your mysql uh, using uh, workbench okay so my local instance uh, as uh, already came here so let's double click it to open this you have to just double click and you can enter your mysql database okay yes I have just opened yes this will be your screen so i have already opened so that's why the query screen is coming so i have my uh, database test 001 uh, in this uh, mysql database so it will be available here okay so all the mysql workbench uh, uh, operations we can uh, go to next video and you can discuss about that so this is all about uh, installing mysql workbench and opening uh, login in your uh, mysql using workbench okay if your local instance connection is not here you can just uh, simply uh, click this plus symbol and uh, add your connection information so i am giving uh, the connection name as uh, local connection you can give any name okay so i am uh, connecting uh, using my ip address so my host name will be the local host uh, ip address it is, uh, as it is 127.0.0.1 everything is same and we can just test the connection because uh, yeah we'll have to give uh, the password so my password is root123 and just click ok yes we have successfully made the sql connection okay it's okay now you can just press ok and our local instance connection uh, is available here okay just double click here and you can open it the same way okay okay sometimes uh, on logging in you will get an error message like this cannot connect to database server authentication plugin cache sha2 password cannot be loaded okay so if we uh, if uh, you are getting this uh, error message you will have to uh, uh, command uh, a query in your mysql command line okay so uh, regarding that i have uh, created another video please go to the description you can have it and have a check 
So yes, that's all uh, about how you can install my my SQL Workbench in your in your PC and uh, manage. I mean, uh, login in your uh, my SQL. Okay. So if you have any doubt in this, please comment below. I'll be helping you. And uh, please like and subscribe for my videos. And thanks for watching.